For hundreds of years, the United States has been the symbol of freedom, democracy, and capitalism. And yet today, we have some of the highest taxes in the world. We rank ninth on the Wall Street Journal and the Heritage Foundation's economic freedom ranking. We rank 48th in the world for press freedom, according to Reporters Without Borders. Everywhere I look, I see people who want the decisions made for them. I see people demanding more government protection. Our freedoms slip away daily under the guise of convenience and protection. Freedom isn't for wimps. There is always somebody there that wants to take it away from you. What is freedom? Freedom is lack of power by other individuals. And somebody doesn't own you. Most of the world's constitutions and pieces of paper they say what the people are allowed to do. But the United States Constitution is different. Every amendment in the Bill of Rights says, Congress shall not infringe upon the right of, or Congress shall not make a law. The Bill of Rights is a document telling the government what it can't do. But more and more, in the name of protection or convenience, your right to free speech and assemble and bear arms is put on hold for a little bit. Or maybe it needs more regulation. That's the world. We're regulating it so it can be safe for you. The environment needs to be regulated by the government. International political parties need to be regulated by the government. Radio needs to be regulated. The internet needs to be regulated. We wouldn't want anybody getting hurt. And we certainly wouldn't want anybody saying something that offends somebody else. Freedom isn't for wimps. If you want to live in a good society, you need to take care of your own decisions, your own education, and keep the money that you earned. Instead of having the government make those decisions for you, take the money you earn and pass it out as they feel necessary, people tend to be more liberal with money when it's not their own. And one last thing. I put up a video of a kid that got shot in the face. And he threw a snowball at this random stranger, apparently. And the stranger came over and shot him in the face and walked away. There were a lot of comments and the same rehashed debates in the comment section of the YouTube page. Now, I just want to chime in for a second on that. As for, you know, the reasons why people should not have guns at all because people will shoot each other. Well, hey, why don't we just have all the why don't we just have the government keep all the guns for us? I'm sure the government will, you know, know when to use guns and when not to. Many examples of great governments that hold exclusive rights to all guns. But on the issue of guns as well as everything else. You won't prime my freedom from my cold, dead fingers.